So many of our Sunday conversations are with people who make Houston proud. Today, it's a homegrown success story, the Sunda Brown Duckett. Duckett was not born in Houston, but moved here as a child, then attended the University of Houston. Now she's one of the most powerful women in the banking world. She sat down with consumer expert Amy Davis to talk about her path, her passion, and her passion to help everyone achieve financial security. So Shonda Duckett, you're the CEO of Chase Consumer Banking, and you're in town to accept a Distinguished Alumni Award for the University of Houston. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, but I mean, that's just a drop in the bucket compared to a lot of the accolades you've been given most recently. Top 10 most powerful women in banking, top 100 most influential blacks in corporate America, top 300 most powerful executives in corporate America. So of those, which make you most proud? Wow, I think all of them make me proud um, in the sense of um, it aligns with my purpose. You know, my purpose in life is to inspire others. And when I can represent that by being a powerful woman in banking or being a top African American, I think it just gives a nod to the possibility for other women or other young people that may share a similar story to me. And so all of those awards is just more of a nod to hopefully, hopefully sharing with some young person what's possible. We thought, and I think a lot of people would agree, what makes your story so interesting and your role at such a large bank is your backstory yeah. and sort of how you got there. I mean, you weren't born in Texas, no. but your family moved here yeah. sort of from a financial hardship. Yeah, so um, my parents, Rosie and Otis Brown, uh, we lived in Rochester, New York. That's where I was born. And my dad worked for Xerox. And back then, you could be a blue collar worker and move around. Mm -hmm. And so we moved from Xerox to New Jersey. And when that location closed down, uh, my father decided that we would follow the company and move to Texas and the reason why I think that's just so important is there was a couple of life moments that have shaped me to be who I am today um, one when we moved there was no relocation package for a blue-collar worker at that time and so we took everything that we owned and my brothers and I there's three kids my mom and my dad and we packed everything in a car and we drove from New Jersey to Texas with all of our belongings, which is not a lot when you have five people in a car. Right. And so I started my life in Texas sitting on crates. We didn't have furniture when we started. Um, and I think that's just an important moment for me because one, it really underscored the sacrifice that my parents made to just provide a better future for us. I think two, when you think about the journey prior to even just moving, but understanding what it's like to have financial struggles or financial insecurity, knowing what it's like to have karate lessons and your parents don't have enough money to get you through all of the lessons, or to start piano lessons and you couldn't finish, or knowing what it's like to open up your refrigerator and not seeing much and not knowing where your meal is going to come from, but somehow, some way, your parents made a way. All of those moments really shaped my passion for financial health. Yeah, and talking about financial security, people aren't saving. I mean, they're right. certainly not saving as much as they should. Right. Um, or I heard a story about your father. Yeah. Um, and, and you went to school and were working at Fannie Mae and realized your father didn't have enough money to retire. Yeah, financial health is personal for me. And you heard the backstory a little bit about how I grew up, but when I graduated from the University of Houston and I started working and my father, was sharing with me his pension and what he has. And all he had was his pension, and that was not enough for him to retire. And what really bothered me is that he just didn't know about a 401k. He had access to it, but he didn't have the information to understand that it was for him. And so it wasn't until my father is now in his late 40s having to begin to start his 401k. And so when you ask the question around financial health, it is important. Here in Houston, 22% of Houstonians have zero net worth. And so when you think about the opportunity, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. Tashana Duckett, thank you so much for talking with us Thank today. you so much. You've got a branch to open. I do. <laughs> Wow. Blown away. Amazing. Great conversation. The conversation was incredible. That branch that Duckett just opened is at the University of Houston. She was there on campus for the unveiling last week. A proud moment for her, of course. You can see the full conversation on our website. You can get information about a new Chase program that helps you save for emergencies with incentives. Just head to click to Houston.com slash Sunday.